Hey what's up guys, Mitch HD here and I'm here with a awesome model. This is the Malaysia Airlines 747-400 in the hibiscus livery and it is made by JC Wings and it is in a 1-200 scale um, although it was released under the B-Box or Blue Box brand make sure you check the, the uh, description for any information you may have missed or any links like my social media, my Facebook and Twitter will be down there and I pre-ordered this from easytoys.com their website will be down below so this is my fourth 747 model and it's my first Malaysia Airlines model some info about Malaysia Airlines the operations base is out of Sabang in Selangor, Malaysia main hubs include Kuala Lumpur Kuala Lumpur International Airport and Kota Kinabalu International Airport Secondary hub is Kuching International. They were founded on the 1st of May 1946 as Malayan Airways, but they became Malaysian Airlines on the 1st of October 1972 after Malaysia Singapore Airlines ceased ops in the same year. Um, if, you, if you don't know, Malaysia Airlines have recently had some economical problems and they will try to get buy it by uh, rebranding the airline and it will be effective as of the 1st of September 2015. This means job losses on top of the 30% of employees who have recently lost their jobs with the company. This is due to unprofitability even before the tra tragic accidents of MH370 and MH17. Malaysia Airlines has announced that they will put two of their six A380s up for sale to help cover costs and with the possibility of Malaysia selling all six of the A380s. Their fleet consists of 98 aircraft as of the 17th of May 20, 2015. Three of these are 747s and one of those 747s is a passenger aircraft. Uh, because of uh, when this was last updated, I'm not sure if they have any more packs 747s left. But they had a total of 21 747 400 passenger aircraft. They have 60 destinations worldwide. And this aircraft was delivered on the 5th of October 1993. But it is still in service as a passenger aircraft with Saudi Arabian Airlines. And it has the same registration that this aircraft used to have and it was handed over to them on the 29th of Dece December 2013 so not that long ago and it was carrying this livery up until that point I'm I'm pretty sure so yeah the Boeing customer code for Malaysia Airlines is H6 so I'll show you around the box here Malaysia and experience redefined there's a picture of the aircraft 747-400 and they had two registrations. Um, I chose MPD. And the back of the box, just some warnings. JC Wings logo. Top of the box. And the bottom of the box. So yeah, basically the reason I chose this particular registration is that it was they were selling less of this aircraft. Um, there were more limited models, so that's why I chose this one. And there is the aircraft. All right, guys. So I now have the model out of the box, and at first sight, it is amazing. The level of detail gone into this. Their entry into the 747 market uh, for JC Wings and possibly Gemini Jets because they might use the same model, uh, same mold for their 747s and they do release them. It's it's amazing. It definitely beats uh, the likes of Inflight, who have really really good molds. But this is just amazing. The level of detail they've gone to, um, and especially with the uh, Singapore Airlines 747 Tropical. It's just it's just awesome. 
um, you'll, you'll notice it throughout this video, but I just, I'll just i get started here, it's just amazing. Um, I first want to point out the livery, the hibiscus livery, which I just show you, let's run through it. As you can see they use the hibiscus flower, um, which is the national flower of Malaysia, and it was helped it was used to help promote the airline product with the slogan and experience redefined. They are part of the One World Group, which is a group of uh, 15 airlines, but um, this model doesn't show that uh, logo. You can see the registration, part of the registration on the gear door there, PD cockpit windows and Malaysian flag because they are one of the flag carriers of Malaysia the titles and board landing lights very detailed as you can see they've used like like little plastic jewel looking things um, and it just makes the level of detail a lot better the engines these are Pratt & Whitney PW4056 engines I'll show you inside I expect them to spin. Ah, let me move my hand out of the way here. Yep. Yep. And these two. And by the way, these are the most uh, common engines on a 400 series. The majority, easily the majority is um, airlines choosing the Pratt Whitney engines. You see the winglet, got slightly a bit of paint just taken off here, but that's fine. There's the red navigation light also. And continuing down the fuselage, the beautiful livery. There's the registration 9M MPD or a 9 Mike Mike. Papa Delta and you see the Malaysia Airlines logo that will soon change with the rebranding of the airline and I'll show you the APU now and it is a very very detailed APU uh, except for the strobe light at the bottom here, which they kind of made a little rough. Alright, so I'll show you the starboard side now. So we have cockpit windows, pedo tubes, path registration on the gear door. There is the front cargo container door. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. In front of the wing here, this little white box with in it but oh uh, yeah and board landing lights the PW4056 engines down to the wing we have the green navigation light and the winglet continuing along the fuselage we have rear cargo container door and to the left of that we have the bulk, bulk bin door registration 9M MPD and Malaysia Airlines logo alright so I'll show you underneath the aircraft we have the first gear antenna right there we have can't really see it in the red there but there's a beacon light hole for the stand main gears, gear doors there's the wing right there Flaps, slats, ailerons. Same on this side, but with the registration. Continuing down, we have an antenna, two antennas right there. Then we have these um, things here, which are like they're the ports uh, to release the pressurization of the aircraft and to help with um it's just to help with the airflow inside the aircraft 
antenna there, APU housing down there. Now on top of the aircraft, there's an escape hatch on top, beacon light to antennas, there's the ADF antennas right here and then there's the wing flaps, slats, ailerons and spoilers. And down on the side, basically the same. Continuing down, antenna right there. Then these two grey dots here and there. Those are the logo lights that uh, light up the aircraft at night. Uh, sorry, light up the tail at night. And I'll just... Um, what I'll do now is I'll show you guys the seating. It's not really relevant because they're pretty much out of service with Malaysia now, but um, I did find the seating and I might as well share it with you guys. So, uh, first class, there are 12 lay flat sleep pods from rows 1 to 5, so I'm guessing here to about here on the bottom deck. Then there is golden club class, which is basically business class. And that is 41 slanted lay flat sleepers from rows uh, 17 to 19. So here or here to here. And then from rows 6 to 12, all of the upper deck. Then they have economy here all the way to the rear of the aircraft. Uh, 306 seats from rows 20 to 63. And it is a total of 300, 359 seats. Alright, so some features with this model. Rolling landing gear, although some of them are pretty stiff, the wheels. Um, if you can see under there, they should, they do tilt, by the way. And in landing mode, uh, kind of in landing mode, right there. Um, you can also see the landing light on the nose wheel so that shows the level of detail they've gone to uh, front wheel doesn't uh, slightly swivels as you can see right there so you know can you, you can move it around on your airport mat and stuff facing the uh, direction you want it to go and here is the stand Malaysia 747-400 scale 1 to 200 then we have blue film on the back to protect the metal I'll just peel it off right here once I peel it off you will see in shiny metal back with the padding on the stand to protect the model underneath and there we go and it sits nicely so it's not touching the gears either wow amazing model this one if you don't have it I would recommend getting it it's a beautiful model I'm glad I've got mine. So, uh, oh yeah, the gears, they're magnetic. The only manufacturer to do so with the 747. And they, they're all magnetic, they, they all come off. And if you want it in in-flight mode, gear doors. So there you go. So anyway, guys, this is about the end of the video right here please like if you enjoyed uh, comment tell me what you think tell me if you're going to get it um, share so other people can decide if they want to get it uh, subscribe for more <clears throat> I have seven, seven more videos on the way <coughs> sorry about that guys <coughs> ticklish throat uh, check out my previous videos the New Zealand 787s and the China Airlines 777. My next video will be the KLM 747 in their new livery. 
another good way to end the video there, but sorry about that guys. Anyway, I do really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.